Falling Squirrel presents The Veil. Press the menu button to begin. Main menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the main menu options. Start game demo. Press the right trigger to select an option. Use the left stick to cycle through options. Review controller layout. Press the right trigger to select an option. Use the left stick to cycle through options. Controller layout. Push down on the left stick to cycle through input descriptions. Movement. When not engaged in melee combat, the left stick controls your movement. Press side to side on the left stick to turn on the spot. Press up and down to move forward or backward. Press only part way on the stick to move quietly. Standard melee attack. When engaged in melee combat, the right stick will control your weapon. Press the right stick in the direction of your target to swing. Blocking. When engaged in melee combat, left stick will control your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of the attack you wish to block. Heavy melee attack. Pull back on the right stick to charge your heavy attack, then press in the direction of your target to swing. Ranged attack. When there is a context to use your bow, press and hold the right trigger to draw your bow, then release to fire arrow. You may optionally use the right stick to fire in a direction other than the one you are facing. Main menu. Push down on the left stick to si start game demo. Please select starting difficulty. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu options. Press left trick casual setting. Normal setting. Press the game is set to normal. The king is dead. It was not a hero's death. It was the slow death of an old man. But it gave him time to plot and fuss about his affairs. Enough time, in fact, to spare a rare thought towards his second born. What to do with me? The blind girl he hid away in the keep. Would I be allowed to stand at my brother's side as he took his place on the throne? No. Even from the grave, my father would not allow me to burden the family. No less than 500 miles of barren heath and twisting veil would keep me from doing that. And now? Here I am, on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. a river. Where are we, Uncle? We're crossing now. You, Alex, are officially home. Describe it for me. I would think the smell of sheep would provide all you need to know. You could have said something nice. Made something up. Honesty is the greatest gift a princess could receive. Then you spoil me, Uncle. Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even in death, father wanted his sightless daughter as far away as possible. I wanted you to have something of your own. From one second born to another, it's not an easy thing being in someone's shadow. I like the shadows. You hear more honesty there. You will make a wise lady. Even out here in the borderlands. I'll make some chieftain's son a disappointing wife. You'll be just fine. As long as you can tell the difference between the men and the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! Hold! Hold! My lord. What is it? Odetan riders from the northwest. How many? An army, my lord. Can we make the castle? No. They're on us now. To arms! To arms! Wait here, Alex. Uncle? Alex, are you okay? Who's that? It's your brother. 
Theo. Theo, yes. Uh, what happened? We were playing Blind Seeker. He fell down the stairs of the loft. This always happens to me, doesn't it? Because you're the only one who can't cheat. Everyone else peeks under the blindfold. No. Rolf tricked me. He led me to the edge of the stairs. Well, the little Ted is hiding by the mill wheel right now. I won't say anything to Father if you were to be careless with your cane as you search there. Push up on the left stick to move forward. Push sideways on the left stick to turn on the spot. right there. Go ahead. Swing. Push the right stick in the direction you wish <coughs> to swing. Oh, 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 Alex. oh, stop it! Alex? It's uncle. This game is over. Rolf will be wanted back in the kitchens. Yes, my lord. You may go too, Theo. Yes, uncle. Sorry, Alex. I see you've found a new use for your cane. What is my punishment? If anyone should be punished, it's me. There are things I should have taught you years ago. Like what? I stand directly in front of you. And I want you to swing your cane at me. You want me to hit you? Yes. My punishment. Your first lesson. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Swing at me. Now. Excellent. Now. When I move, your head will remain facing forward as to conceal your level of awareness from your enemy. My enemy? Listen. Now swing at me again. Very good. Now, I'm moving to stand directly in front of you again. I want you to swing as many times as you can, as fast as you can. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> know your <sighs> limit. You want to be selective with your strikes. You will be limited to only a few consecutive strikes before you must pause to catch your breath. An exhausted fighter is a dead fighter. And what do you think is the first rule of combat? Don't die? Precisely. Ah. Uh. Hello? Uncle? Ah! The carriage. It must have overturned. It's night. How long have I been out? I need water. I'll have to get to the river. Uncle? Hello? Don't be stupid, Alex. Who's to say you'll find a friendly answer? Ah, wolves. That's reassuring. Whoa. Oh. A body. A soldier. Not one of ours. Perhaps Uncle made it out okay. Let's see here. Yes. A sword. Rusted. Broken. Better than nothing. And a scabbard. You'll have to do for now. so thirsty. Who's there? Uncle? Okay. Not uncle. He likes sticks? Go get it. Okay. Got a heavy one here now. Fair warning, you're getting this one in the muzzle.
Well, I won't be sleeping tonight. What do I do, Uncle? What would Theo do? I suppose a king wouldn't find himself alone 500 miles from his home. 500 miles. I suppose I start walking. All roads lead east, they say. Unless you're walking in the exact wrong direction. Talking to yourself like a madwoman. Who's there? Friend or foe? Depends. Are you with the Odette and Horde? No. I have no money. I'm not out to rob you. You're limping. You're injured. You're blind. But perceptive. Friend or foe? You're highborn. You're not from the borderlands. And you? A shepherd. Where's your flock? In the bellies of barbarians. We are not foes, then? It would appear not. <laughs> I hear men approaching. Are they the King's Guard? Afraid not, girl. This is where we part ways. Good luck. Wait! <sighs> well, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like a shiny prize to me. Don't suppose she's the one the General's looking for? Okay. Stay calm. Think, Alex. You wanted to see me, Uncle? You aren't going to learn how to use a sword today. My father wants me to learn how to use a sword. In truth, no, he does not. However, a princess and future protector of the realm need first be able to protect herself. Wouldn't that be my brother's job? Protector of the realm? Firstborns get killed every day, girl. You're going to learn this. Here, take this sword. Grip it. Firmly. You know I've never cared that you're blind. And our enemies will not care about that either when they set out to kill you. Now, I want you to swing your sword at me. Don't worry, the blade is not sharp. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Excellent. As you can hear, your attacks are easy for me to parry as long as I'm not trying to do something else. Something else? Like what? Like hitting you. Uh, that hurt. Now, if you don't want that to happen again, you're going to have to hit me first. And if you're quick enough, I won't be able to parry. Are you ready? I suppose. Listen for sounds that lead into my swing. My armor, the shift of my weight, and swing the second you hear it. Okay. Uh, huh. Very good. One more time. Excellent. Now, shall we play a little game? No. Too bad. Strike me three times and you win. All right. Oh, and I'm going to move around this time. Yep. Uh, ah! Very good. Excellent. Uh, very good. That's three for you, niece. Well done. I know you think you don't need to learn this, but our enemies are unyielding and they show no mercy. Not for the young, nor the old, nor the blind. I want you to be strong. Even stronger than your brother, because... No one knows what the future might hold for you. All right, Uncle. What's wrong with you, girl? What are you staring at? Stay back, or I'll start swinging. Where's the, where's the other half of your sword? What are you waiting for? I think she is blind. Then that should make it easy for you, no? Oh, she got you good. Ah! 
な。You want to find me as forgiving? Is that the shepherd? Yes. Take my hand before more arrive. Where are you taking me? Safety. I have a camp nearby. Sorry, girl, for running off. What's a lame shepherd going to do against practice killers? I suppose I should thank you for coming back. I suppose you're welcome. I need to get back to the capital. To my brother. The capital. What are you doing out here? Merchant family? My family is very wealthy. There would be a reward if I was escorted back safely. Escort a blind girl 500 miles down a treacherous valley in the wake of an invading horde. Not sure what reward would be worth that. What would you do with me then? Teach you to tend sheep. Get your pretty hands dirty. You could buy a thousand sheep with the reward my family could provide. A thousand. Must be some family you have. Or you don't know the price of sheep. Do you have a name? Alex. Alex. Hmm. I am Abdul Rashid. Abdul... Abdur... Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Call me Shepherd if you like. Okay. Shepherd. Getting you home, Alex, will depend on where the Odedin are headed, how well I can heal up, and who we can find to help us on the way. My uncle and I were traveling with a guard when we were attacked. They may still be around. If that horde set upon them, they would have been killed. I'm still here. Then you were not worth the trouble. Get some rest. It will be safer to travel later at night. I suppose you're indifferent to the dark. Thank you, Shepherd. Don't thank me yet, Sheep. The valley home is long and winding. It conceals more than just barbarians. Alex, pay attention. Yes, Uncle. Now, as a blind fighter, you will be well served to have a shield. Now take it here with your left hand. It's heavy. As it should be. Now, this time, when I swing at you, I want you to raise your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of your target to block. Are you ready? Sure. Raise your shield. Uh, excellent. Now, right after you block my attack, you'll have a split second to counterattack. It's a more defensive way to fight. Give it a try. Block my attack and immediately counterattack. Use the left stick to block your target. Then release left stick and immediately counterattack using the right stick. Very good. Another game, then. Defeat me any way you want. Attack as I swing, or block and counterattack. On guard, girl. Once again, well done, niece. Alex, wake up. <sighs> what is it? Odedin. They've set up camp on the ridge above us. We have to get moving. Follow me. 
this way. Over here. It's a raiding party. They supply the horde as it moves. I'm afraid this won't be the last one we run into. Describe it for me. About ten warriors in small groups around the clearing. No room to get around. There's no central fire. They probably don't like each other much. I'll need a shield. What are you going to do with that? Use it if I have to. For now, I'll try to draw them away. You stay here. Wait! I'll come back for you. My uncle promised me the same thing. I'm a cunning shepherd. I won't get caught. Son of a dog. What was that? What do we have here? No! Wait! <sighs> Fortune shines upon us. <laughs> it's the royal brat. We have our orders. Kill her and bring her to the general. No! Alex, are you listening? What? You were off somewhere. I said, I'll draw them away. You wait here. No. It's not going to work. How would you know that? I just do. It's too dark. We'll move together. I'll lead. All right, we'll need to get to the river. Hey, look what I found. What is this? The shield you requested. Is this a barrel lid? It suits you. Now keep moving. Oh. Another way then. Nope. Another way, then. Okay. Not this way. Are you there, Shepard? Yes. I think we're clear of the camp. <laughs> Damn it! A patrol. Hey, you there? Who are you? Stay calm, Alex. Let me talk. Look at me. Uh, my uh, sister and I were just returning home from treating lepers outside Bolt Keep. Lepers, you say? Bring the torch. Sorry, Alex. We'll have to run. Or fight. I thought so. It's the missing princess. I'll alert the camp. You share the glory? I don't think so. You 
Detner stronger than you. Give up, girl. You really know how to use the barrel lid. I have my uncle to thank for that. We have to keep moving down river. I need to find a settlement. Somewhere to heal up. Lead the way, Shepard. Do you know this village? It's called Braga. But that's all I know. I've never been this far east. Describe it for me. Well, it looks like a village. Too small and out of the way for the horde to bother with. There's a smith, some cellars, an inn. Your leg. You going to be all right? Not without clean dressings and herbals. I don't have any money. You'll have to sell something. Your clothes, maybe. My clothes? Your cloak must be worth something. And you will draw less attention without it. Have a look around. <laughs> have a listen around. I'll be at home here with the animals. Resume game. Press the right trick. Here's a young woman who knows a thing or two about finer things. I know a merchant from the capital when I see one. I can give you an excellent price on the furs. Well, fine pelts this warm west of Riverton. Actually, I'm looking to sell my cloak. Times is hard for me, too. Not sure what I could afford. A hundred copper? Ah! Oh, I mistook you for a fellow merchant. I see now that you're a highway robber. Why don't you just take my entire car while you're at it? I could also throw in what's left of my teeth, if you like. What do you want then? Ten copper. Final offer. Now who's the thief? Whoa, 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 oh, no, no. Now that I see the cloak from the back, it's very nice. A little muddy, perhaps, but nice. Fifteen copper. Truly, my final offer. Twenty. Done. That's 15 and 20 copper as agreed. Nice doing business with you. Fine silks! Warm furs! We have you covered north to south! Purples, essentials, 
potential. You looking for something, child? I'm looking for healing supplies, dressings for a wound, and something for infection. Are you hurt? No, it's for my friend. Can you bring him in? I can have a look. I don't think so. I'll just take the supplies. It will be ten copper for the bandages and bolties. Here you are. Thank you, child. And this is everything you'll need. Fresh bread, two loaves for a copper. 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 This way, Alex. Over here, sheep. This way, Alex. I have the supplies. Thank you. Do you need help with the dressing? I know what I'm doing. Not my first blade wound. I've spent more time in pastures fending off bandits than wolves. I suppose you're not used to sleeping with livestock. Thankfully, no. They're warm, at least. I'll need a couple of days before I can travel. But it will give us time to collect a few things. We'll need a bow for hunting and money. Don't suppose you know a trade? I'd like to find a better weapon. Perhaps some armor. A sheep in wolf's clothing. I suppose it will make bandits on the road think twice. Get some sleep, Alex. <laughs> <laughs>